What's good people? Welcome back to another video. And today, in honor of my return to the gym, I'm gonna be taking you through what is in my gym bag. Now, it's a bit impromptu doing this. Uh, if you've seen my last video, and if you haven't, I'll pop a little link up for you so you can have a look at that. Uh, I've said I'm going back to the gym from the 28th, which is Monday, but I've kind of changed that plan a little bit. I'm doing it um, from tomorrow morning now. I'm starting a new program on Monday to start building strength where I was changing my emphasis from trying to drop body fat uh, and I just kind of want to get to grips with the gym because it's a new gym I'm going to, never been there before so I want to kind of understand the layout so I don't go in there on Monday fully like a new kid at school. So yeah, as is a bit last minute, I'm in the bedroom at the moment so please excuse all of the shite around me, we're getting ready to move out so there's a lot of random things in the background that have nothing to do with fitness. Uh, now. Without further ado, let's dive in. So this is the, um, actually first of all, this is the bulk gym bag I got as part of my prize wins a couple of months ago. Did the unboxing of this in this very room. How exciting. Oh, let's move up there, shall we? First and foremost, got my gym keg, 2.2 litre capacity. This will be for my water or squash, depending on how I'm feeling throughout my workouts. Um, generally I'll have an intra workout shake which I'll get to in a second um, but I will have this with me just because in the hotter months the 500 mils I would have in that shake just aren't going to cut it and on hydration I also have it's my normal water bottle it's a bit smaller if you're doing cardio then the, one of these kegs will not fit on any of the machines so I've got one of these to fit in the bottle holders because I'm not Spider-Man I can't whip it up off the ground when I need it also got obviously my intra workout shake this is in jaw from bulk powders please get some more of this I'm running very low um, this is just gonna help me push through those more intense training sessions it's got a good amount of carbohydrates very good amino profile and a little bit of protein in there so that'll keep you going through those tougher sessions I've also got my pre-workout now I'm using a bit of a combo at the moment Strom's Stimumax and Vascumax Pro. Um, I started combining non-stim pre-workouts with regular stim pre-workouts fairly recently. Just found it gives me that little extra oomph to get me through my workouts and who doesn't like having a very good pump. And I've just gone with the Strom range because I've used a few of their supplements recently and I think they're absolutely incredible. Their products are fantastic. These two pre-workouts are amazing. If I'm honest, the Stimumax doesn't hit as hard as I like but the, it's got, wait, how much is it again? 250 milligrams of Alpha, G, Alpha GPC, which is superb for focus. My gym towel, because I'm a good citizen and I wipe down my equipment after use. Nobody wants to be laying down on your sweat. Some squash balls, because I also use this bag for squash and I forgot to take those out. Workouts logbook. I'm keeping track of my workouts in here, keep track of my sets, reps, what weight I did, any notes, etc. etc. Very useful to have so you don't want to go one week, do a session, then go back next week, looking to progressively overload, of course, trying to improve on what you did the week before and not know what you did. You don't want to turn up to the gym having benched, say, 65 kilos for 10 reps one day and then go back the next week, can't remember what you're doing, just slap 60 kilos on the bar and go from there. So it's very important to keep track of what you are doing. Also got my lifting straps these are from bear grips these are absolutely incredible I went with the pink because it's jazzy and i like it uh, they're a bit longer than most lifting straps that i've used in the past which means you get a bit more of a wrap around the bar and they're far less likely to slip and also i'll get this on the camera that i don't know if you can make it out as bumpy rubber bits on there that just help it grip the bar just that little bit more so yeah 10 out of 10 absolutely would recommend them and I also got from Bear Grips, these are new, hence why they're in the crispy, rustly packaging. Some lifting straps for heavier benching and tricep exercises. Obviously brand new, not used these before, but they're from Bear Grips. I've yet to try a bad product from them, so very high hopes indeed. Also got my trusty old tripod. To be honest, I don't think I'll be getting this out much in the gym. Um, I don't really want to be that guy with a huge tripod and massive camera in the gym, so I might just end up using my phone or my little octopus tripod I've got. Uh, currently propping my camera up now, just because it's a little bit more subtle. And I've also got my camera or camera bag, because obviously, like I said, using my camera to film this, uh, just in case I do decide I want to start filming a bit more in the gym, which I would like to, and my spare memory cards, just in case we run out. Kind of running out of space. Mid-workout. Got as well. My lifting belt, Redcon 1. Now, if I'm honest, I've not used a lifting belt too much in the past. This is just for if I go for really heavy lifts, I want to start trying to incorporate it. I've had problems with my back in the past. Uh, lifting belts, as a lot of people think, they are basically just a big bit of gaffer tape you wrap around yourself to hold your spine in place. They're not. The point of a lifting belt is to embrace your core and it acts as a cue for you mentally to 
tense everything up in your core which pushes everything and all the pressure inside into the back of the spine so it stabilizes it when you're on a heavier lift so it's less likely to twing snap ping when you're doing a heavy deadlift or a squat for example it's not there to physically hold you together that's it for the main pocket nothing in that side emergency protein bar i train first thing in the morning uh, so i don't really have time to eat and digest breakfast and i don't have much of an appetite when i do first wake up um, but I generally, because I'm working from home, I'll go to, my plan is to go to the gym, work out, come home, and then eat breakfast before work. Um, but given the time of day, there is the potential for traffic. There shouldn't be where I'm going. But if there is, and I get really hungry on the way there, on the way back, sorry, just want to make sure I've got something to eat. Got some deodorant. Again, good citizen. Don't want to be stinking the place up. anti back. Don't need to tell you why we've got that in the bag, which is a good thing to have my moisturiser because my hands are unbelievably dry. When I first started lifting before I'd earned my calluses, I uh, managed to tear this part of both of my hands deadlifting, trying to get 100 kilos for the first time. Incredibly painful, incredibly uncomfortable. And I was working in a shop dealing with cardboard 90% of my day, so doing all this and diving with high stuff really didn't help. And that took forever to heal. Finally, probably most importantly, I've got my headphones. Recently upgraded to these Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Very, very good pair of headphones, amazing battery life on them. Ambient sound, which is just fantastic and a really good sound quality. Um, if you've been to any commercial gyms in the past, you will know the music there is absolutely terrible. The only sound it is harder to work out to is the sound of your own parents having sex. I don't want to be listening to Spandau Ballet while I'm working out. I'll have my own music, thank you. 11 hours of battery life, that's not going to be a problem for me. So that is everything in my gym bag for my return to the glorious Church of Iron. I'm very excited to go back. Um, it's been nine months now since I've been back, I think. Obviously stopped going in March last year and then went back very briefly in August to about October. I was only going twice a week, so it feels good to actually properly be going back. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please drop me a like. Um, I'm going to be hitting some new gym content soon, so hit subscribe to uh, stay notified when I'll be putting new stuff up. And I'm going to pop a link in the description for most of these products here, particularly the supplements and the lifting accessories, just because I think they're absolutely fantastic. I will say the belt, I got this as part of the Black Friday deal, uh, Redcon One handle at the time. If you buy it individually on its own, it's £175. To be honest, the leather itself is fantastic, but you can get a lifting belt that would do just as good a job from I think like my proteins one is 13 pounds or something ludicrously low like that so I'll pop a description to both of those in the below uh, comments they are effectively the exact same just a bit of better quality leather on this and uh, yeah I'll see you on the next one peace